Scott is so afraid that I'm going to pillage his caravan that before we did the show, he actually threatened me and he threatened serious war if I pillaged his caravan. So you can't see it now, but what happened over the last couple turns is he's got a caravan coming out of his capital, which is as best I can, it's got to be in one of these two spots, but he's got a caravan that comes right up here to Lhasa, and it's a big part of his economy as far as I can tell. And I saw it go in this way, so I just slipped my scout in because I've got my units slowly moving up to be ready to assault him. Now, he had a couple units here ready to fight me, and we'll get back to that. So independently, because garrisoned units are free, my economy is not great. I just spent a ton of money to buy this spot. So I waited for my culture to expand to me to here. I immediately spent money to buy this wonder. Not this wonder. This, uh, I guess it's a wonder of the world, but not in the traditional sense of a human making it. But anyway, so I got this thing primarily because of the science. Like, it's just a great place to have. And I'm pretty sure Ur was going to expand over to take it. So I wanted to get it first. So I spent like 65 gold on this which was a significant chunk of the money I have. So I'm a little low on money, but because barbarians are going to be a constant threat on this kind of map, because I won't have troops stationed out here watching all this, nor am I going to build cities out here, they'll just keep coming in for the whole game. So I built a couple extra military units to just station for free in my cities, and I'm going to make sure I have a garrison in every single city just to be able to defend it from barbarians, but I'm not going to keep any other troops out this way. Now these barbarians just appeared, and I'm going to take care of them. As for these barbarians... Oh, I thought they were a city-state quest. I can't... I don't think they are anymore. Anyway, let's go nuts. But I can't take him in one turn. That's not a great thing to attack right away. So I'm going to come all the way around, so I'm flanking with my other guys. So the caravan's got to come back up this way. Now, Scott had another unit here. And Scott has retreated because it looks like the cavalry arrived. I did not know there was... I wonder where that barbarian was because this guy's complaining. They want me to defeat barbarian units that are invading them. And truffles. I'm going to get truffles when I build my settlement here. But now that there's this barbarian, I'm not going to attack it. Because I don't... It, it's scaring Scott away. Scott said and threatened that he's got plenty of units here. He's going to take out my hoplites that are quote-unquote, quote, low on health. And now he's retreated a little bit. So things aren't looking great for Scott. So I'm actually going to retreat my scout up one. Because the caravan's still going to come through here. And I'm still going to get it. Fortify. This hoplite is just going to fortify. And this guy is going to fortify. And that guy's going to stay fortified. And their health is just going to keep going up. And this little wall is going to sit here. Scott can't come across. There's two, there's no room up here. He'd have to really fight to move a unit through. And I know there's barbarians up there. I'll take care of that barbarian when the time comes. Uh, I'll pillage the caravan. And that's going to be a death spiral for him. And he also, and apparently, well, then as soon as I kill this guy, I'll be allies with them. This whole wall will be impenetrable except by the water. So yeah, I'm not going to attack, I'm not going to be aggressive, I'm going to stay here while I mop up these barbarians, let these guys heal, and swing them up around. I'm not going to try to take one of his cities unless somehow he just sucks and I take it easily. I'm just going to try to destroy his improvements, even if I lose a unit or two, and just raise everything and just make his life miserable. And meanwhile, all my domestic development will go un unhindered. I mean, look at this. Mine's almost done here. This guy's building roads. I'm going to build a road to connect these two. And then I'm going to build a road to connect Jerusalem. Because they also want this, which will make them my ally. And then I'm, that road is going to come right out of Jerusalem to my city here. I'm going to build a city here. I'm going to make one pretty big empire, actually. So what can I build here? If I'm doing this domestic policy, I could build more military. But I kind of don't want to right now. My economy, I'd rather not push it. Even though I could easily build a giant army. I'm going to build more things to stabilize. I'd build this if I was going to attack him. I know he's not going to build it. All this would get me now. I'd want to build a composite bowman first. Because if I built it now, I'd just get one hoplite, one scout, and one companion cavalry. If I built a composite bowman and a chariot archer, I'd get those as well. And a catapult. Let's see. What is the best economic or... This might be good. Will I get any great people? Am I even making great people? I am not making great people. 
Because I haven't built any other wonders. So. That would slowly make great merchants. But otherwise, a stone would get me two extra gold. A source of marble or stone. Well, that's stone. I don't have any marble. The marble's up here, so that wouldn't help. So that would actually, if I build that, even though it's only one stone here, that would get me two extra gold, which is half of my deficit. That's actually not that bad. Otherwise, though, it just gets me a culture. It's not that great. Statue of Zeus will be good for finishing Scott off. He, he hinted that he's building Stonehenge. I don't know if he's bluffing or not. Temple of Artemis might just be good to grow. Hanging Gardens and Temple of Artemis are both growing. I haven't done the math to figure out which one's better. I suspect the Hanging Gardens a little bit better. Free Garden in the city which was built, which would be good if I was making great people, but I'm not, and it will not help me make great people, so it would be useless. Temple of Artemis is much simpler. Culture, engineering, and a significant boost. I could build this, and then when I need to build my range units, uh, the time would be right. Or I could just say, fuck it, and build a settler. I'd like to get a little more here. I'd like to have filled this out, but I don't really need to, because as soon as I start building more cities, it gets harder to get this stuff. But I got the most important ones. I got this, and I got both of these. This one is moderately important, but it's not super important. This one's really good, so I kind of want to get two more of these. I could skip these for the immediate term. We'll see. I haven't decided what to do there. So what to actually build. I'm getting plenty of faith from my city-states, so I think that's fine. I'm going to have plenty of happiness as well, though I could bolster that by building this and this, and then I'd be ready to build, like, the Circus Maximus, all that other nonsense. I cannot do this. Maybe if I can't build a caravanissary yet. Oh, yeah, I can. Increase the range by 50%, which would be good. That might mean I could get out over here. But it would also not get me any gold ever, because I will never have a trade route with another civilization just for city-states. Huh, horses and sheep and cattle produce plus one production. I don't want horses. That's pretty much it. It's not great. Granary would be okay. It's also not great. This is just happiness. I guess I could do this first to bolster my happiness a little more, even though I've got one... two with the truffles down here. I've got multiple avenues for more happiness down the road. But while they're cheap and easy to build, maybe I'll just bang this stuff out instead of focusing on any wonders. Yeah, let's get ahead on the happiness game, just in case. I could leave this guy here. And I probably will. Maybe I can start moving him across later as well, but for now I'm just going to leave him in the garrison. We'll see how Scott deals with this. He can't be as aggressive as he wanted. These guys are in a very well-fortified position. They're very strong. And yeah, he's got a swordsman. It's probably the only swordsman he's got. And the spearman is actually scaring him enough to where he threw some units. So I think I can just sit here and steal that caravan. He's going to be shocked when these guys come around too. I don't think he believes me that they're on their way. kind of want to build a third companion cavalry and really fuck him up. That would increase my debt. I'd actually want to, I definitely want to lose a unit. But I'm going to capture two barbarian encampments in short order, which will get me some money. And I'm going to capture this, too. So actually, as much as I was going to build that circus, let's bang out another companion cavalry first. Because why not? My deficit will sort itself out. Oh, he's moving the units in. Well, I kind of want to finish that Barbarian off, but I think the city-state might do it on its own, which is actually really annoying. But I might just leave these guys set up, because he's not that strong. If he's... Let's see. So the city-state is probably going to finish these guys off. As much as I want to finish them off, I can't easily go around and get after them without compromising my position here against Scott. These guys are both pretty strong. I might just leave them set up here and let Scott try to attack me. Because I don't think he's going to be able to handle it. Meanwhile, let's just keep this road going over here. 
And let's mess up these barbarians. Nice. Let's see, is anyone close to a level? This guy's pretty good. He's got two levels of shock and open terrain. This guy's real close, but he's the healer. Oh no, he's not real close. That's his life. None of these guys are particularly close. I'd rather the companion cavalry level up. So let's... Yeah, get some culture in. This guy up. Move this guy in. And that guy is good. I'm just going to leave him there to heal. Because I want to be full strength when I suddenly come around and startle Scott. Plus, he might have another trade route coming over here. Which will be a mirror of the last game. That's looking good. Where are these barbarians? All the way up there. Uh, this guy, I guess, can come up and defend. It'll be fine. I'll just ignore it for now. Oh, my mind's in. Look at this. Look at this. My deficit's a little higher for now. I'll have to deal with that at some point. But I guess I could. I could deal with the deficit pretty easily. So I'm not going to right now. It would be pretty bad, actually. Ten turns. I'm going to stay on the gold science focus. Because it doesn't hurt the city that much. And all that extra science is going to be real useful. Maybe I should just send this guy out now, even though I'll lose the money, to take this barbarian out. Yeah, just in case. It increases my deficit a little bit, but I will deal with that as the time comes. Come on, I just need the care I just need to hold out until the caravan comes back and I'm good. Oh, it appears that Scott has not moved in on me for some reason. I wonder what's going on. I will just continue to dig in. Stay nice and fortified and wait it out. This guy is going to head up here to see what's going on with these barbarians. <sighs> Keep building my road. There, a little bit of money. Ooh, that was for Ur, which is already my ally. Now they're just like crazily my ally. Huh. Guess they were uneasy about it this turn, and now I got it. Nice. Well, I guess I should finish this business. Not ideal to attack with the companion cavalry, but might as well level them up. Now I gotta heal up and then burst across. This companion cavalry will immediately go off, maybe in to either go this way. Or if this guy can't defeat it for whatever reason, if he has trouble, they'll pincer it. And then the hoplite is actually going to march right back around to Athens while the companion cavalry goes on to join the front. I think I'll probably build a settler next. And I can do this one later. Uh, oh, iron and stone and marble up there. There's a decent city to be had like here actually. Yeah, look right here. It's next to a mountain, so I can build Oxford University if we get to that. Or the the observatory. I'm within range of these guys, this stuff. These, that, not bad. I think I'm going to build here first, because I'm going to road. I'll deviate just to at least improve these things. And then road onward to Jerusalem. Everybody else, just heal up. Yeah, he's not a medic. No one's a medic. Oh, he's a medic. Yes, definitely everyone heal up together. <laughs> Scott is just... I wonder if he's swinging in, hitting this guy and retreating. Because this thing's already pretty obsolete. And he's just not doing enough damage and he realized that he's kind of fucked here. <laughs> 